Alright, All right, YouTube. Hopefully you can uh, hear this, but anyway. Uh, hear good, I meant. But anyways, I'm doing a Kirby G5 video today. Um, now, I did hear all that lower 1618 make this video about performance reviews opinion about the wreck their vacuums. I do agree with him on that. Well, you got it. I mean, this guy right here has been through a fair share of some commercial use. Like, my grandma was moving, and the house she was moving out of was an absolute mess. I mean, and if you want to know how much, this bag right here was puffing as hard as a rock when I was done. As hard as a rock, and it oh, still had airflow. And, I mean, I've worked on a couple commercial Kirby's oh, uh, just the other day. Um, that G4 and G3 I repaired, those were being used commercially, and I think the Centria too was as well. And those, you know, oh, really? those uh, ran like they had no problem doing it. So, let's get to it. <laughs> served me well for five years now. Oh, I lost my foot. No. Um, five stinking years um, of, of use. And I have used it for, you know, yeah. a bunch of stuff. You know, so it's definitely a great vacuum. And don't even get me started on my Avalier right here. This guy right here, the Avalier is an absolute beast in my collection. I'm not just, but, you know, the G5 could do this as well as it, this, but I'm just saying, like, with the Avalier, I've used it to shampoo. Um, I've used the uh, other Avalier at this house to shampoo a church. And it was a small, like, little... Uh, it wasn't a big church build. It wasn't even a building. It was more like a, but it's not enough square feet to be impressive. The shampoo on this, and there's a whole bunch of quality. And 
the sanitaires oh they're just good and so I just wanted to get that out there but yeah I'm definitely going with all black lovers 16 and 18 on this one to because really direct air vacuums can uh, do well in commercial setting like comment subscribe stay tuned for more